Please be seated. Le président, the court is now back in session. I know the defense uh, counsel is on his feet. Uh, you may proceed, counsel, for Mr. Q. Sampon. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, Très rapidement, je voudrais uh, m'excuser auprès de like Madame Cartwright. Je n'avais pas compris sur le moment le sens de uh, votre question relativement à, à, question à l'indigence. Et après coup, j'ai compris, en discutant avec uh, uh, mon équipe, uh, je pense que team, le moment de la... That, uh, de l'incompréhension relative à ce passage de, de mon intervention où je parlais du fait qu'il n'y avait pas de risque d'entrer dans la clandestinité ou de fuite de M. Kyosampan. Ce que j'ai voulu dire à ce moment-là, c'est qu'il n'était pas devenu riche subitement, il n'avait pas les moyens de, de s'enfuir, et qu'il n'avait pas, voilà, il n'était pas assis sur un tas d'or. En revanche, c'est ce que j'entends. Mais expliquer uh, ensuite, et c'est là peut-être sa famille s'engage à, is, uh, à financer uh, to sa vie finance, uh, his modeste, day to day uh, living uh, expenses, uh, which will be rather much. Je voudrais vous, vous indiquer que, also like to tell you that, uh, si vous le souhaitez, monsieur, if you so desire, je souhaiterais juste dire quelques mots au uh, soutien de sa demande. Monsieur Kersonpa would like to say a few uh, words uh, supporting uh, his request. The President. Yes, Mr. Kilsampon, you may proceed. Le Président, oui, allez-y, Monsieur Kilsampon. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Kilsampon. My respect to beaucoup, judges of the bench, all parties and à toutes les parties. members of the public in. First and Le foremost, public. I would like to confirm that I have I do not have any passport. I haven't heard pas I haven't had passport for a long time. When I left the forest uh, in, uh, to reside in Bailen, I only had uh, my identification card and the electoral card. That is the first thing I would like to make it clear. Secondly, I would like to inform the court that all my children in the present day are working. They are earning their living, but not much, but just uh, sufficient for their uh, living. We live in one flat uh, together. We share uh, the bill. We share the cost of food. We share the living cost. One of my children uh, has uh, sent, uh, has a child who is working in Phnom Penh, and they also sent uh, the money back home uh, to help share the cost of family. And I hope that once I am released on bail uh, from the court, I am going to live with them, and I am sure that they will be able to feed me uh, on the daily life. Certainly, I would like to inform the court as well that my wife, when she come to visit me uh, in the detention center, she travel by motorbike. And if it is necessary that uh, I participate in the proceeding, when the court summon me uh, to uh, participate in the proceeding, I will be able Lorsque to take the moto uh, with her uh, to come to uh, this court. This is what I would like to inform uh, the chamber, and I will comply with all the conditions imposed chambre. by the chamber Je on me when I am released on bail. And especially, I would like to chambre, reassure the chamber that I will be present in all the proceeding upon call summoned by the chamber until the court is concluded. Thank you very much, Your Honor. President, next, I would like to hand over the floor to the prosecutor uh, to make a statement or 
present faire arguments in response to the application si and submission demande, by the defense team for Mr. Kilsam Pond, together with the uh, statement de made de by Mr. Kilsam Pond. You may proceed. Aussi, si elle ce qu'a dit, Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon again, Your Honours and, and Council. Merci, um, I hope Chamber may be willing to uh, be somewhat flexible with the time allotted to us. We're at a, at a double disadvantage. Um, we haven't filed a written submission. Unlike the defence for Mr. Kilsam Pond, the Chamber has granted them. Uh, more time than half an hour. Et la but with that, I will proceed. Demi. Your Honours, the co-prosecutors oppose this application. Madame, Monsieur les juges, le bureau des co-procureurs s'oppose à cette demande. Because it is our view and our respectful submission to Your Honours that the conditions in Internal Rule 63 3B continue to exist for a continuation of Mr. Q. Sampan's detention, and we respectfully submit Your Honours should exercise your discretion in this matter carefully um, and looking to these elements in Rule 63 3B et doit vraiment uh, apply them against the evidence and elements which I will put before B you and order uh, Mr. Q. Sampan's continued detention. Lorsqu'elle se prononcera sur la demande. There are several matters which require addressing, and I will start with this issue of questions. alleged uncertainty or lack of foreseeability in, in the current proceedings and the completion of the current proceedings, which uh, my friends on the other side submitted uh, together with an argument about delays. Uh, à présenter if I can make des very brief aussi legal submissions, and this is necessary because, again, we haven't filed a written brief, je vais devoir présenter différents arguments juridiques. Une cases plus, relied que upon by our learned friends cultures. in relation to this issue of forcibility originate or are judgments of the European Court of Human Rights and a review of the cases relied upon uh, illustrates that they're not relevant question, for present purposes. On peut ne sont pas en First, on the issue of certainty, of legal certainty, de uh, our learned friends juridique. rely on a number of cases, uh, among them Velichko and Russia, a judgment of the 15th of January 2013, Sitsirigos and Greece, a judgment of the 17th of January 2012, and Sarkov and Russia, a decision of the 16th of July 2009. What is common to these decisions, Your Honours, is that they concern the legal certainty arising from, from provisions of legislation. That is, these are cases in which the European Court of Human Rights stated that domestic legislation Donc, must provide sufficient legal certainty as to conditions of detention. So they're not relevant for present purposes in that sur les conditions de ce qui pas en The cases do deal with the, the issue of indefinite detention, and of course Elle, uh, we all agree that indefinite detention, de detention is contrary to law and, and of course contrary to justice. Uh, and each of these cases turn on specific facts where there had been a lack of diligence and, and there had been undue delays in the uh, prosecution of crimes before domestic courts. I should also state that these cases are equally not applicable or of extremely limited relevance because they largely deal with pre-trial detention matters. And if you look at them, you will note that the majority of the cases cited by my learned friends si deal with cases of pre-trial detention uh, during investigative proceedings. And so they're not relevant for present purposes as a matter of law. The same applies to cases referred to in paragraph 23 of our learned friends' submissions, cases of Letelier in France, Labita and Italy, Valderrama in France. These cases, again, deal with pre-trial detention, and facts very different from those before your honours. Needless to say, 
all of the ECHR cases deal with allegations of crime that could not be compared to the case before your honor. These cases are far less complex um, and, and simply a, a, a turn on their own facts. Additional cases cited in that section, again, all pre-trial decisions, Piatkov and Russia, Piatkov contre Russie. Dogan and Turkey, Dogan contre Turkey. Leon Tuk and Romania, Leon Tuk contre Roumanie. and I referred earlier, I believe, to, to the et case of Velichko in Russia. Et je pense avoir fait aussi référence so all of those cases Velichko referred to in paragraph 23, uh, again, largely deal with issues of pre-trial detention and turn on matters of domestic law and domestic criminal procedure. They're not relevant for present purposes, de purposes de procédure pénale nationale et ne sont pas applicables. They're not relevant for present purposes, 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 they're not Turning to this issue of alleged lack of certainty and delay, we submit that Your Honours should adopt the approach adopted by the pre-trial chamber in relation to this matter. And that approach focuses on the length of detention and whether that length of detention is proportionate to the circumstances of the case, including its complexity, and including the conduct of the entire procedure. Et the pre-trial chamber dealt with these matters la la in its decision on Mr. Q. Sam Han's detention appeal of the 3rd of July 2009. The document reference is C26-5-26, and the paragraphs that relate to the present purposes are from 68 to 70. À 70. Again, the pre-trial chamber revisits that matter in their decision of the 30th of April 2010, again on an appeal by Q. Sampan, this document is number C26-9-12 and the relevant, relevant paragraph is paragraph 44. So it is our respectful submission that the view of length of detention the President, le président. Uh, could you please um, identify the uh, document numbers as well as the relevant year and page uh, for the uh, record, please? Uh, yes, Mr. President. Uh, the second decision Merci, was a decision of the 30th of April 2010, and the document number is C26-9-12. The relevant paragraph, the paragraph, est, le paragraph is paragraph 44. 44. Uh, I apologize, I don't have the je ERNs regrette, handy simply because a, a paragraph number is an, an even more precise reference. Le, le uh, but I can provide ERNs if you're honest. Uh, prefer immediately following the hearing. Vous remettre les ERNs tout de suite après l'audience. Now, turning to this issue of certainty and length of time, question de la certitude, it is our respectful durée. submission that the arguments put forward by our, our learned friend with respect to the lack of foreseeability Nous simply do not stand scrutiny, just as any argument about delay does not withstand scrutiny. Tout comme les arguments this trial au sujet commenced on the 21st of November 2011 Le 21 novembre that is in relation 2011, to the evidentiary proceedings. And, of course, on the 21st of Et November 2011, Your Honours heard the opening statements. Today is the 167th day of hearings. Nous en sommes au 160e jour and, in the, and in the intervening period, Your Honours have heard more than 50 witnesses, On a and plus that is not including témoins experts who testified uh, in relation to fitness les of qui ont accused. Sur it does not include accusés. the testimony Cela of DC CAM witnesses on authenticity of documents. The proceedings have indeed uh, taken place in, a, in an orderly fashion. Les of course, we have experienced challenges se sont arising from uh, delays caused by the illness of the accused. But there can be absolutely no credible accusés, suggestion on peut, that on at any stage of this case there has been undue delay or lack of diligence on the part of the authorities. De la part des autorités dans cette affaire. This case should be viewed, of course, on its own facts, 
and it, it is often remarked that this is one of the most complex criminal cases ever prosecuted. Il faut examiner cette affaire sur But if one were to engage in a comparative analysis, complexe, jamais traduit en justice, then in our respectful submission, the more appropriate nous cases to look at que are des cases comparables tried before the other internationalized or international tribunals dealing with tribunaux cases internationaux of mass crime. ou internationalisés traitant de crimes en masse. And not domestic cases dealing with the charge of single murder or robbery pour or fraud. homicide simple, vol qualifié ou fraude. This information is publicly available, so it can be reviewed by all parties and, of course, by your honours. Mm, ces informations But sont disponibles au public et peuvent être euh, vérifiées par tous, cases y compris la Chambre. Tried at the ICCY des affaires émanant du TPI in more than 50 cases montre que dans plus de 50 cas, lorsqu'on examine les affaires émanant du TPI on voit que dans plus de 50 cas periods of five years or longer détenu des accusés pendant 5 ans while at the ICTR more than TPI that period of detention of five years or longer occurred in at least 31 cases au moins 31 in fact the average length of time for trial pendant plus de 5 ans at this tribunal la durée are significantly de ces longer than what is projected plus longue que by your honors in relation to completing the current trial. La pour le procès qui nous occupe. Again, there can be no credible suggestion of uncertainty or unforeseeability dire in light of the recent hearings and in light of the decision your honors have rendered on, on the severance of the case. Les décisions rendues par la Chambre sur la disjonction des poursuites. We have received guidance from the Supreme Court Chamber la de la Cour in relation to two des options des for proceeding to an expeditious completion of, of the trials before the ECC. And your honors have taken that guidance. Procès, la you have held extensive hearings with, with the parties, and you have issued a fresh uh, severance decision. Les parties, and I'm sure in due course, the reasons for that decision will present les motifs de ces décisions, les motifs de ces décisions montreront le plan pour le reste du procès, comme l'entend la Chambre. And turning on to another aspect of the length. I apologize, we seem to have a problem with the audio system, but I will, I will proceed. Il semblerait y avoir un problème avec l'audio. I think we may be online now. I, 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 I hear the French channel in my headphones. That's why I'm... Le procureur entend le canal français dans ses écouteurs. My apologies, Your Honours, for that delay. Je regrette cette interruption. Looking at reasons that these trials Donc, take so long, la raison pour laquelle of course, cases of, of mass crime are long, inevitably que des complex. They involve thousands of documents. Crime en masse sont très They involve euh, large numbers of witnesses. Des milliers de pages de documents. And, ex and extensive legal un grand arguments. De témoins. Et and the record of this case shows that Mr. Kyusampan, through his defense, has vigorously defended que, que the charges against the charges, défendu, has filed numerous uh, appeals, procedural requests, challenges to the admission of evidence, etc., all of preuves. which, of course, is within his rights. Bien sûr, son droit. But in our submission, against that background of the complexity of the case and of the diligence with which all parties have proceeded, in, it is simply unconvincing to argue that there have been undue delays and that we face a situation of uncertainty. Just in recent months, The submissions Donc, from Mr. Q. Sampan have included appeals mois, to the Supreme Court, de challenges to the admission of new evidence, de la de la submissions on the applicability of witness de statements. 
contester l'applicabilité de certaines materials, déclarations de témoins. Et ce sont tous ces d'autres types Documents, Donc, une fois de plus, of his il s'agit d'un exemple trial, de son but all of which, of course, des garanties légitimes de type procédural conduct of the procedure and have to be taken into et account when the chamber considers whether or not there has been undue delays et en une in proceeding sur la procédure sans pour autant que ce soit des retards induits my learned friend also made reference to uh, an early decision to sever the proceedings against Kangiek Kangiek Uv alias Doik décision uh, and to uh, Suggest that that led to a delay in the investigation of this case. This is actually a, a, a new argument that was made as part of the 87-4 application. Un uh, so we've had limited time to consider it. But if one looks at the written records filed by the co-investigating judges during the investigation of Doi, si one finds that close to 300 written records were put on the case file by the time the closing order against Doik was issued. On peut voir que plus de Many of those documents that most of them relate to broader issues in this case. So there was in fact no delay to the other accused from the decision to forward the proceedings against Doik pour les autres to trial quand separately. Les coaches d'instruction ont rendu leur décision de renvoi à l'encontre de Doik. In short, it is our submission that when one considers the complexity of this case, which is one of the most complex criminal cases ever prosecuted, cette affaire, affaire la plus complexe, when one considers the passage of time since the alleged crimes, quand on considère les the volume of evidence temps qui s'est écoulé required to be considered et le procès, to, to arrive le volume at the truth, de the complexity of legal submissions, la, le caractère Such complexe submissions on the applicability of crimes les écritures in the 1975 period, and all the various objections that are put forward by the defense and various legal arguments that are put forward by the prosecution, one cannot credibly argue that there has been undue delay in the conduct of these proceedings, contrary to the outcomes of cases put forward by our friends from the European Court of Human Rights jurisprudence. There has been absolutely no undue delay or lack of diligence in the present proceedings. Now, turning to the five grounds, which of course are disjunctive in Rule 63.3b.1, parler des cinq motifs de la règle 60. And taking as our starting point the Supreme Court être pris un par un, chamber decision of the 6th of June 2011. De la chambre de 2011. We note that what is required upon a fresh application for release is a meaningful review, a full and meaningful review 2011, of whether the conditions in Rule 63.3 3 continue to be satisfied. 63, and this can be found in paragraph 49 of the Supreme Court Chamber's decision. De Chambre and de la Cour this is the decision, of course, on the immediate appeal by Q. Sampan on a prior application for his release. The document number is E50-3-1-4. Our time is limited, and, so, and I do note that in their application, the defense for Q. Sampan have, have not alleged that the condition in Rule 63.3a is no longer satisfied. That is the condition that there are well-founded reasons to believe that the accused may have committed the crime or crimes alleged against him. Given that, given that that rule uh, is not raised by the defense, there is no allegation that that provision is not satisfied, um, but that their application rather deals with the conditions in 63.3b, I will deal with those five conditions, which, as I indicated, are disjunctive.
I will start by looking at 63.3b1. Tout d'abord, 63.3b. Petit 1, petit 2. At the same time. J'aimerais traiter de ces these deux conditions en même temps. Deal with the need to prevent the charged person from exerting pressure on any witnesses or victims. Empêcher la, la personne mise en examen exerce une pression sur les témoins ou les victimes de prévenir toute confrontation entre les personnes mises en examen et les complices des crimes relevant de la compétence and also to preserve du, des CETC evidence et aussi to prevent its destruction. de conserver les preuves ou des éléments de destruction. Elements now on the case file, which indicate that a release of Mr. Kusamhan would create a. The president, I don't know why English channel is now coming through my ears. There is no Khmer at all now. The president, uh, co-prosecutor, you may now uh, proceed. I don't know whether other um, people in the courtroom uh, had experienced the same thing, but perhaps the thing you now go back on track. You may restate uh, what you just uh, indicated, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, so I will restate the uh, last couple of sentences. I will deal first with the conditions in Internal Rule 63.3b1 and 63.3b2. The first condition deals with or requires a consideration of whether detention is necessary to prevent the accused from exerting pressure on witnesses, to prevent any collusion between him and any accomplices, whereas 63.3b2 deals with the need to preserve evidence or to prevent its destruction. And I submitted, Your Honours, that there are now elements on the case file which indicate that a release of Mr. Q. Sampan at this stage in the proceedings would create a material risk that pressure on witnesses or victims may occur, that there may be collusion with accomplices or alleged accomplices, and that evidence may be in danger. Your Honours will recall that on the 15th of August and the days following, Et durant we heard les jours suivants, nous avons entendu la déposition Sa -Siek. du témoin Sa-Siek. Durant sa déposition, Madame Sa-Siek a confirmé le contenu d'un rapport issued by the Office of the publié par le bureau des co-juges d'instruction, dont il ressort que ce témoin et son époux, aujourd'hui décédé, also a witness in this case, had been approached by Mr. Q. Sampan's wife and asked questions about matters at issue in these proceedings. Mr. Q. Sampan's wife had been approached by Mr. Q. Sampan's wife and asked questions about matters at issue in these proceedings. Mr. Q. Sampan's wife had been approached by Mr. Q. Sampan's wife and asked questions reference for, for that OCIJ report that I referred to. This BCG, is A110 slash Roman numeral 2. Le document A110, Romain 2. Correction, Your Honours. The, the correct corrige. document number for that la la report suivante. is D. 369/40 D369/40 and that document indicates document a visit by 
C'est l'état d'une visite rendue par l'épouse de Kyo Sampan à Madame Sassiek et à son époux. That information is contained Cette information at figure à l'ERN suivant au premier 00 49 French ERN 94 en français 00-498-434 and English 00-492-720 And as I said, this incident Comme je should dit, be viewed in context. Cet incident doit être vu dans son contexte. On the 10th of January 2008, the co-investigating judges les sent a memorandum to all the parties in this case, à toutes les à and this is document A110-2, in which they informed the parties that they are prohibited from conducting their own investigations during the conduct of a judicial inquiry. Au cours d'une instruction that judiciaire. Instruction is Ces instructions at figurent ERN à la page 001-537-736, French 007-1537-0043, and English 0-0-157-740. And the instruction is clear. Cette instruction est claire. I quote, Je vais citer. This is addressed to Nuon Chia, Ceci Nuon est adressé Chia's defense, à la défense de Nuon Chia. The copies sent to all les of the exemplaires parties. ont été adressés à toutes les parties. Quote, Je vais you citer. have informed us of your intention to conduct your own investigation and indicate that you reserve the right to interview any individual. Vous réservez le droit d'entendre toute personne. A little bit further down. Un peu plus bas. Quote, again, it appears necessary nouveau, to distinguish this legal system from that of other international and common law systems. Before this court, law. the Pour power to conduct judicial investigation is assigned solely to the two independent co-investigating judges and not to the parties. There is no provision Aucune which authorizes the parties to accomplish investigative action in place of the co-investigating judges. This memo is dated 10th of January 2008. In the period that followed, both Sassiek and her husband, now deceased, Mr. Ta Sot, were interviewed by OCIJ. Their records of OCIJ interviews can be found in D200. Slash six D200 bar 6 pour Sassiek et E3 bar 464 pour dans le cas de Tassot. En décembre 2009, nous avons déposé une demande d'acte d'instruction tendant à voir réentendre ces deux témoins. C'est le document D256. Et nous retournons J'en reviens to the OCIJ à report au rapport du BCJ dont j'ai fait état. Il apparaît qu'à compter du début du mois de mars 2010, Kyu Sampan's wife had made the trip all the way to Batambang to speak to these individuals for a meeting with the Ministry of Justice. Kyu Sampan's wife had made the trip all the way to Batambang to speak to these individuals for a meeting with the Ministry of Justice. Kyu Sampan's wife had made the trip all the way to Batambang to speak to these individuals for a meeting with the Ministry of Justice. Kyu Sampan's wife had made the Madame Sassiek a confirmé cet incident au cours de sa déposition. Et ça peut être trouvé dans les transcripts de l'audience des 16 et 20 août. Le 16 et 20 août, le document E1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1
It comes to EAN numbers and document identification, police slow down. Lorsque vous donnez des codes et des ERN, veuillez ralentir. I do apologize, Mr. President. Mes excuses. So those ERNs for the transcript of the 20th of August were Khmer 00837 047, French 00 Supposément, M. Reasonably infer that this visit, in fact, was at the behest of Mr. Q. Sampan because it was apparently designed to clarify certain facts on his behalf. In our submission, this gives rise to a a clear basis to conclude that if released, Mr. Q. Sampan, living in his family home, together with his family members or on his own, may seek to contact witnesses or accomplices and may seek to interfere with evidence. His propensity to do this is illustrated by the incident I described. Turning to 63.3b4 and the risk to to Q. Sampan, Concernant if released, we respectfully submit that this en cas de mise risk en continues to Pour exist. Nous, it was found to exist by the pre-trial chamber La in 2009 and in 2010. To state the obvious, pour enfoncer une porte ouverte, allowing Mr. Q. Sampan to live at his que Sampan family home and to travel to and from the ECC, Creates an unacceptable risk. It makes him an easy target to anyone who would wish to harm him. Ce serait pour lui une cible facile pour quiconque voudrait lui faire du tort. And it would be a very simple matter to predict the times at which he is travelling to and from the court for anyone who wished to cause him harm. Quiconque voudrait lui faire du tort pourrait facilement savoir à quelle heure il va au tribunal et à quelle heure il part. Et cela empêcherait le procès de trouver une conclusion ordonnée. Le procès de trouver une conclusion ordonnée. Les attitudes envers cet accusé et d'autres dirigeants légués des Khmer Rouges continuent de être marqués par des sentiments forts de revanche dans le chef des victimes. Contrairement à ce que prétend mon confrère de la partie adverse, les études dont sont saisis les juges, et ici je fais référence à certaines études que nous avons déjà déposées, et non pas les nouvelles pièces que je présente aujourd'hui, ces études donc confirment que les parties civiles ne sont pas les seules à continuer d'adopter des sentiments fort de revanche envers les accusés, en plus du peuple cambodgien, et pas seulement le peuple cambodgien. Le document 53 est une étude dans laquelle plusieurs personnes, milliers de personnes ont été interrogées, seul un cinquième d'entre elles étaient des parties civiles. Approximately 40 percent of people in the general population continue to harbor feelings of revenge towards the former Khmer Rouge and the Khmer Rouge leadership. And that document contains additional statistics that confirm these findings and the basis, and provide a basis to to find that an unacceptable risk does exist. And that if Mr. Q. Sampan were to be released, the proposed arrangement would simply not provide sufficient security for him. On this, one has to keep in mind the earlier incidents to which my learned friend did refer. The Khmer Rouge leadership, 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 the Khmer
the attack on him, on Mr. Q. Sampan, which Champagne, occurred in 1991, this is described in D29, attachment 96. Contrary to what my friend says, the contemporaneous media report shows that while there was some suggestion of a politically motivated initiation of unrest, that very quickly a mob swelled to 10,000 people who smashed windows and attacked Mr. Q. Sampan, who found himself, according to this report, beaten, whimpering, and cowering half inside a bedroom closet. By the year 2000, when Mr. Q. Sampan contemplated addressing the public in relation to alleged Khmer Rouge crimes, Lorsque Kyo Sampan a envisagé de parler au public concernant les crimes des Khmer Rouge, that either the il a placé comme condition que la communauté internationale ou des organisations indépendantes garantissent sa sécurité. Je vous envoie le document D29, attachment 95, c'est un autre document qui est versé au dossier. It is our submission that at this stage of the proceedings, stade, with all of the information that is now publicly available about the crimes and about Mr. Q. Sampan's role therein, and this close to the sujet, completion of the trial, et it would simply si be an unacceptable procès, risk, un risk to release him, to expose him, expose him to these risks, risks, and potentially jeopardize a completion, an orderly completion of this trial, I would note that the Supreme Court Chamber, la Chambre in their consideration of this, a of a different condition, of a condition of risk of flight, condition, à celle risque de fuite, found all of these matters to be relevant, and you, your honors will find that at paragraph 54 of the Supreme Court Chamber's decision. De decision de la Chambre de la and we Supreme, agree with the Supreme Court Chamber, in our submission, all of these factors de la Cour pour go to work towards establishing both Vise à an unacceptable risk to Mr. Q. Sampan's own safety, and by extension, et par extension under Rule 63.3b3, which relates to ensuring his presence, qui porte sur sa they présence, create an unacceptable risk il y a un risque inacceptable that his presence cannot be or may not be secured ne puisse pas if être he is released. Au cas où il serait mis en liberté. I'm mindful of the time, and I will Je bring my submissions tourne. To a close, Je vais very briefly. rapidement conclure. Further on the issue of Toujours risk of flight, sur la question du risque de fuite. My learned friends have submitted that Mr. Q. Sampan has happily and willingly submitted himself que que to Sampan the jurisdiction of this court and that there is no reason to doubt that he would continue to do so if he is released. De le faire au cas où il mis en we respectfully disagree. There are a number of prior statements by Mr. Q. Sampan which indicate Sampan that he is not willing to participate in these proceedings and that he in fact challenges the very réalité, legitimacy of these proceedings. There are two statements of relevance in particular. Document E3-583 an October 2007 interview of Mr. Q. Sampan. The relevant references are Khmer 00424179, French 00643364, and English 00 Secondly, I don't mean to argue right or wrong, 
but I have taken some law classes, and although I have not put them in practice, I am questioning the legitimacy of this tribunal. A second statement made in November 2006, E3 slash 108, Khmer ERN 00347038, French ERN 00. 613205 and English 00 Quote, what do you think about the upcoming trial? Mr. Q. Sampan's response. I think we should learn from our history. We should put our national interest ahead. We should do everything for the interest of our nation. We should not listen to foreigners. We should follow Khmer traditional way of thinking. We have to ask questions like, is this tribunal the right thing to do? People who fought against foreigners will be charged for killings, people, and brought to justice. For example, myself, what will happen to me and what did I do? They can prosecute me because they are now in power. Yet I want them to think as Khmer, not as foreign. I want them to think about the interests of Khmer. Do not follow the United States. Do not listen to them. And finally, In another interview, D313.11.1, Khmer ERN 00807474, French ERN 00826496, and English 00815896. Again asked about the creation of the tribunal, Mr. Q. Sampan comments, I have never supported the creation of this tribunal, but if they have already done so, I cannot say anything. I will not say anything because I will gain nothing. I do not talk about this. Je parle pas. Let them do it because they have power. Parce ils ont du pouvoir. However, I still Toutefois, believe that only de my people, the Cambodian people, people can truly judge me, not juger, these judges. Et non pas les juges. These judges abuse Ces their power and do whatever they want to, et ils font tout ce ils but Cambodian citizens les still respect Cambodians and love me. De me et de Your Honours, in our respectful submission, these statements Pour nous, Again, taken in context Prise and dans looked at together with the other evidence I referred to les about attempted parlé, influence on witnesses, sur les témoins, do create an unacceptable risk that if released, Mr. Q. Sampan may not be available si en liberté, for, for a continuation of the trial, que, que ne soit pas à la de la or la that he may interfere with witnesses or evidence sur les témoins, ou and further that his release may lead to a disruption, an unacceptable disruption of public order. Des perturbations in our respectful submission, to, to release him now le at this stage of the trial, ce stade du procès, only months before its conclusion, mois seulement avant la fin du procès, and shortly before judgment is to be rendered de temps avant by your judgment, by your honours, creates clearly an unacceptable risk, a risk that should not be taken, and your, your honours should therefore courir, exercise your discretion to keep Mr. Q. Sampan detained while of course assuring him that we will all together endeavour to bring this trial to a expeditious conclusion. I apologise for having taken extra time and I thank you, Your Honours. I excuse the time supplementary that I have used. I thank you. The President, thank you. Next, we would like to hand over to counsel for Mr. Kyosun Pond to reply to the submission aux arguments de l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Alors, pour répondre well, aux différents arguments to to the qui viennent d'être soulevés par l'accusation, je commencerai avec with, um, la jurisprudence jurisprudence uh, de la Cour from européenne des droits de l'homme que j'ai cité, et en fait que j'ai cité pour euh, 
soutenir le fait que lorsque la Cour européenne des droits de l'homme examine la longueur d'une détention provisoire, elle examine non seulement sous l'angle de la phase d'enquête, mais elle prend également en compte la phase de jugement. The judgment as well, and now we are in the judgment phase. C'est le sens de la jurisprudence Soria Valderrama, the meaning behind the Soria Valderrama case, decision by the ECHR of 26 January 2012. That was also what I meant when referring to this, which is to say that this court takes into account de la phase not only mais the investigation phase, but also the judgment phase à ce sujet, la CEDH in ruling a on provisional detention. And the ECHR also said in that regard retard ou pas, that whether there's delay or not, le risks en associated with provisional detention diminue avec le diminish temps. over time. Monsieur le procureur, so, euh, prosecutor, a, the prosecutor, à l'instant, plaidé le rejet de la demande que nous présentons en disant « C'est une affaire très complexe. » Deux crimes de masse. Mass Il est normal qu'elle soit longue. Et d'ailleurs, toutes les affaires de ce type long, and, in fact, all cases devant les juridictions pénales internationales sont très longues. Always very long. Il a même ajouté, mais là-dessus, je crois qu'il n'est pas nécessaire de répondre, qu'en plus, la défense avait le culot defense... de se défendre. Had um, the audacity of defending itself, which uh, I don't even believe the can believe in that kind of argument. But now, getting back uh, to this idea of a complex case of mass crimes, and that trials are also very long before other international courts, I would like to remind all of you votre chambre that seul, your chamber est le seul is the only des faits one to aussi longtemps prosecute facts après, aussi so anciens. long after these facts Nous were committed. We are 35 years after the events ça, uh, that uh, you're going to have to assess. And there is no other international court that similaire, has been in a similar situation, which uh, part, somehow makes all of these comparisons a little bit um, faits, not well grounded. Uh, 35 years after the fact. I mean, that's a long puis, time. Aussi, uh, and uh, there's also the fact that you are prosecuting people who are also very là, old. So I don't believe that there are exemples, other examples in other international courts um, jugé, of um, similar situations. For example, Kyo Sampan is 82 years old. And this you should also take into account when you're going to hand down your Decision. Sans vous tirer and, une balle dans le pied, uh, without uh, trying to frustrate you, il y a aussi uh, le contexte. There's also the context uh, of uncertainty that uh, we have to take into account, and I believe that there is also no other example of international courts uh, that has uh, vous en avez faced as many difficulties of, as we have uh, faced here, whether it be financial difficulties, whether it be political uh, difficulties, or, or even uh, etc., the interpreter's strike. Coup, All of these difficulties, ça, you cannot just cast them away as if they had never existed and continue saying that everything is uh, moving along uh, smoothly. There are difficulties, and you are assessing facts that are ancient and, and people who Monsieur are Kessampan, quite aged. Que Sampan has been detained for the past five months and five years and four months, and there are sufficient guarantees for you judiciaire. to release him on bail. Uh, le prosec a the prosecutor dit à also said that uh, Monsieur Quesampan has challenged the legitimacy of the court, supposedly. Vous l'avez expérimenté par vous-même. Did you uh, see this yourselves? Jusqu'à maintenant. Up until now? Je crois pas que ça a été I don't think that this was the case uh, before this chamber. Sa défense a participé uh, in au his defense uh, uh, was here all the time to y a un document. Uh, see this, and, and there is a document uh, that was mentioned. C'est un autre interview, c'est une autre this interview is another qui est donnée par M. Kiosampan quelques jours après uh, that, uh, of qui a été donnée par le procureur, c'est la cote E3 
par de fraction 588, une interview réalisée par Voice of America par téléphone, et M. Kusson-Pan dit que son pan says, uh, le tribunal the... n'a qu'à me convoquer, well, quel que soit le moment, il n'aura pas besoin de m'arrêter, no il suffirait de me convoquer, they just have to summon me and I will go. C'est très clair. So it's clear. Et c'est It's perfectly clear. Les choses se sont passées différemment, and, and mais c'est ce qui s'est passé. Of course, uh, il didn't happen that way, but uh, had it been that way, he would have come then. Je crois aussi que so, I also pour believe décider that in order uh, to decide uh, on this uh, issue with a clear mind, avoir à le you fait should que keep in mind that we are une, le cadre d'une procédure facing uh, qui est double. J'entends par là qu'elle est à la fois d'inspiration inquisitoire et à la fois d'inspiration uh, uh, accusatoire. Et uh, adversarial, en France, uh, as pour well, prendre un exemple um, que je connais, uh, c'est vrai que France, les procédures, uh, uh, la phase de jugement des procédures est beaucoup plus courte, much shorter puisque in France, uh, because, les magistrats uh, s'appuient, le tribunal, les juridictions davantage sur le dossier d'instruction, uh, les avocats et les gens qui, uh, the qui the critiquent ou non d'ailleurs ce, ce type de procès dit souvent Criticize or not this kind of trial often say procès, that the trial c est, c est presque une relecture is almost a rereading of the Ici, investigation. Here we are in a différent. mixed situation. Uh, uh, you take some time, and of course, it led to quite a few misunderstandings, misunderstandings especially uh, from uh, on the part of my colleagues who have experience in uh, the Anglo-Saxon system. It created difficulties, as you know. For example, you had to listen to witnesses. Uh, so all of this uh, had consequences on the length of the trial and the, the two-headed aspect sens, uh, of this trial also explains, uh, also should be taken into account. Enfin, and finally speaking, le uh, nous dit, the prosecutor tells us, nous donne un and, or gives us an example that à faire showing that Kusampan could exert avec, pressure uh, on witnesses. Cette dame, uh, and he refers to um, this lady uh, who came um, to testify. Pour, uh, son témoignage. Je crois que vous vous en and souvenez. you probably remember. Uh, a, oui, Madame Sieck. Miss Sieck. Yes, she was very clear. Dit, she she said, and I quote here, le passage the de son segment uh, par uh, ma en Taguissé, uh, uh, à la cote when e she answers Antagissé at E1.1. 109.1 C'est le RN français 008 3696971 Question de ma consoeur Antaguissé Si j'ai bien compris votre réponse Elle, il s'agit de l'épouse de madame de monsieur Kiosampan, pardon elle vous a encouragé à dire toute la vérité sur ce que vous saviez à propos de monsieur Kiosampan Réponse And de Madame Sieck, oui, c'est exact. Yes, so. C'est ce qu'elle ce qu a dit. That's what she said. Elle nous a dit que si she les enquêteurs posaient des questions the sur que son question, il fallait dire pan, toute la vérité. C'est d'ailleurs très so exactement it, en ce sens que exactly le lendemain, les journaux, notamment j'ai ici un article uh, du Phnom Penh Post, uh, en date re du 17 août 2012, ont compris have, uh, here, cette audience, puisque um, nous avons ici un article qui est titré « L'épouse de Phnom Penh Post, uh, Pen Post uh, uh, Pen dit à un témoin de says, coopérer avec le tribunal ». Clearly, that Kusson Pons was said to cooperate with the tribunal. So I think that in terms of putting pressure on witnesses, here, uh, uh, this is a complete fantasy uh, on the part of the prosecution. These are the observations I wish to make to uh, um, respond to the prosecution. Thank you. The President, thank you. The hearing yes. to hear the submissions by parties to the proceeding concerning mm -hmm. the voilà. application for Mr. Kilsompon's release on bail has come to an end. The chamber wishes to thank you all the parties to the parties. proceedings. The chamber will examine this and the decision on this will be rendered in due course.
in accordance with Rule 82, subparagraph 3 of the internal rules. The Chamber wishes to also thank you all people concerned, including staff of the trial la chamber and the interpreters for doing their best to support the smooth conduct of the trial proceedings. I may now pronounce that the uh, court is adjourned and that uh, security personnel are instructed to bring the Kusum Pond back uh, to the detention facility and have him returned to the courtroom by Monday, the 22nd of April at 9 a.m.